What up? I'm JT Jackson. Yo, what's going on? This is Wesley Jonathan. I am Stacey Harris, and this is the Stacey Harris Show. We are here with Christian Keys. Four-time Grammy nominee, Mr. Eric Benet. We got Mr. Macaw Pfeiffer in the building. Pretty much every show, we have a celebrity guest, and instead of doing the typical interview the celebrity, they come on there and they go in with us. Even if I'm dead wrong, mama I'm right in front of my mama. <laughs> now she gonna let me have it when I go home. We talk about everything, love, sex, politics. Y'all cheat, and then when we do, y'all are like, how could you? And you're like, wait a minute, there's no boundaries off of revenge. But everything is off the cuff. They don't have any time to rehearse or to practice. It's really what they think in that moment. You got people out here, women out here, that really are hungry. And I don't know if that's hard. He's sitting home great. Call in, you're gonna wanna put your two cents, three cents in. It's that kind of show. We get to sit with some of the biggest stars in the world and have them hanging out like with their best friends. Sex and love are not the same. A man can love the dirt under your fingernail and still go have sex with him. Yup. Nothing you can give them is going to change their mind. Right. Because right. all that, all you can give them has been around since Eve was created. Ooh. So that ain't new. Three. If you're listening and you can't say amen, just say out. And, uh, <laughs> so one thing about this show is we offer sweet cocktails. Oh my goodness. <laughs> one thing I say about that Stacey Harris show, all those drinks, all I know is I'm faded every time I leave the show. <laughs> I just drank this whole martini glass of this pink shit. I better not. For the most part, you need that chemistry to kind of kick off off top. You don't have time to warm up and you know each other. You gotta go in. Should we all take a little champagne swallow real yeah, quick? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> that might be wait, 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 wait. Yeah. And it gives us that family style, like keeping it at happy hour with your best friend versus the typical warm Let's go to Paris. When you <laughs> What you can expect from the Stacey Harris show is a bunch of laughter, fun, craziness. This was one of the most fun interviews I've done in a long time. You know, throw the inhibitions out the window a little bit. Let me ask you this. What would you rather have as a woman? Good abs or good dick? You never know what you're gonna get and nobody is safe. Let's talk about Wesley because I love him talking about me. Wesley Johnson, man, that's a boy. He like on cool fun, but I'm fun. Um, I'm currently going to the third season of my TV show. It's such a good entertainment and it's man called The Soul Man. I call folks, this is the Wesley Sons, and we call him the baby hair Ike. Damn, the baby hair <laughs> come down like genuine. We call him Ike because he has a temper like Ike Turner. He's a damn cake. I don't want to talk about no, no <laughs> dead on emotions. Stop freaking analyzing me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah. That's what it is. Man, we go at it, man. Some things we see eye to eye on. You didn't know how to separate the brain, <laughs> the heart, and the penis. But you and know that's the secret weapon you know right what's there. JT, action Jack. Oh. Uh, well, uh, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, if you understood what I just said, uh, basically, I'm an actor. I do a lot of commercials. All I knew was that he was the reason I couldn't book a commercial in LA. <laughs> uh, you turn TV on, I'm there. If you have a TV. The brother is hilarious, man. He's very funny. I don't know if they're laughing at me or laughing with me. JC always gives you that unexpected comedy. I like it. Do I look better than Wes? What happened? None. <laughs> I am originally from Houston, Texas. I'm the best come out of H Town, Beyonce. Stacy Harris. Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> the Clydesdale Harris. See, not to, not to, the let it out, hang out. Oh, she's right. all right. <laughs> Bro, Stacy is a sweetheart. She is a great heart. She's beautiful. She's funny, uh, which is very important. You can't just be fine. You gotta have a sense of humor. Ladies, don't, don't be uh, like call that. in don't and ask like Makai why they do that. Don't, don't be like that. 323 Ask Makai Pfeiffer why they do it, because he won't tell me. <laughs> she's really good at uh, picking things to discuss and at getting views of not only the the people who are listening, but us as guys. If that's a deal breaker, don't yeah. fuck, don't deal with that dude. <laughs> yeah. Usually it gets really heated, especially when we have all men on the show and I'm the only girl, they think they can punk me. This uh, is what happens, I ask uh, a question. Uh, and you wish I y'all turn into men, y'all turn into men. But that's not how I'm gonna let you play me on the show. Wrong. Pause, really, pause, hold on. Wrong, hey, pause, wrong. A lot of times I always have to remind them to come home because it's, it's my show. It's the Stacey Harris show. May I first say this? Uh, Oprah wanted me to be on a part two today, and I said, uh-uh, I got to go see Stacey. <laughs> uh, I said, hold on, Oprah. I got to go I see I love Stacey. it. Why do people think it's okay? And there's no particular people. Everybody can get it. I'm gonna go to this this, this skinny pants craze. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. let's check this out for yeah. a minute. Now, it, it, you know, it's okay to wear some fitted pants or whatever nowadays. There's no way I should have to come out of my skinny pants and scoop like a woman. You know, you gotta scoop. When you try to get the booty, you gotta 
got two pants off. You wiggle like that to get out of your pants. It's a problem, bro. You really should be ashamed of yourself. My segment on the Stacey Harris Show is called News That Should Not Be New. I want to inform the world on what is going on around the world with crazy people. Darth Vader's wife got punched in the face <laughs> after accusations of infidelity. He always finds the most wackiest, craziest things to talk about. He and Stacey often believe he's making them up, but he's not. Chinese husband sues his wife for being ugly <laughs> and won. Awarded him 120 grand. <laughs> I'm not fucking around. Like you literally be like, what? You can expect some good news coming from us. A fail is when you deliberately allow things to happen that you know probably don't look good. For instance, these amazing wig caps that everybody's wearing that sit like right on your forehead. I was like, nigga, she team wolf? Like, what is Whoa. happening? One of your friends are assholes because if your friend saw wow. you and let you go out that way, they are <laughs> failing you. You knew what you were wearing. You saw it. Those are the things that I'm talking about that can be avoided in life. And her point that <laughs> wasn't quite as slick as I needed it to be. <laughs> <laughs> I could say a fan favorite. Something that we recently did and we are adding to the show as a new segment is called Neo Duet. And yes, it is exactly what it sounds like. It is starring Neo. Let's just say we go on adventures every episode. This is the complete level of disrespect. First of all, not even a good host. My wine glass is empty. I was in here recording with a dry throat. Yo, fault. I'm gonna need you to play. It's Neo, the gentleman with the thinking cap on, putting me out. I'm kicking you the fuck out, is what I'm doing. So, come on. And I added a uh, second to the show just to break up all the talk and give a little something extra to the fans. You should just tune in because it's gonna be funny. You can see a lot of great stuff. You have a ball. And as I always say, as I close up the show, with my clothes on, I always say, to watch your dream unfold is a dream in itself. To watch your dream unfold is a dream in itself. When your dreams seem that they're insane, you are on the right path. Keep God with 100, keep God first. Keep God first, keep God first, keep God first, and we are out. We are out. Yeah. yeah. yeah.